What's up, you guys? Happy January 4th, 2024. And this is the Snowfall Aftermath, sitting with my two beasts right here. So anyway, we do the whole, the whole town again from the dam to Baldwin. So you guys can see the Big Bear snow rule. One side of town gets a lot more snow than the other side of town. It's always really awesome for me to see. I don't know why, but hope you guys enjoy. Hope you enjoy our aftermath of the biggest snowfall of the season yet. It's not saying much, but uh, also we are doing a giveaway for our, uh, our good friend. He has an Airbnb property right next to Bear Mountain, and he's doing a giveaway for you guys. So we're going to show you a little promo of that and how you guys can get involved in the getaway. I'm excited to do this for you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are everything in my life. I love you guys. Take care. Enjoy the video. Peace. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Sheephorn Getaway. My name is Jay. Come on in. So I'm not as good as Nick as talking on camera, but I'm going to try my best to give you guys a good tour. So when you write walk-in, uh, is the living room. It's a very spacious living room. We have an L-sized couch along with a 65 inch TV, of course, playing Big Bear Weather and more, the best channel on YouTube. Got the, mer the merch right here. Um, and uh, so we'll take you along to over here, which is kind of our breakfast area, or if you have to work on your laptop or anything, you can use this table. And guys, look at that view. It's looking really beautiful out there. The snow is covering the treetops. It's just looking fantastic. So imagine eating your breakfast right here. Let's go around. So over here to the kitchen and so this is we got a little bit of the dining area full kitchen we have an oven so if you uh, want to bake cookies or brownies with um, your friends or your family you so right there we have a fridge dishwasher coffee maker complimentary coffee and hot chocolate and uh, let's come on over here to the bedrooms so you're gonna have your master bedroom over on this side and it actually leads to the front deck over here which is a great plus for convenience. This is gonna be our second bedroom. Uh, we have a bunk bed, one on the top is gonna to be a twin and the bottom is a queen. And we have a lot of closet space and a dresser drawer right here to put all your belongings. And we also have a bathroom on your right hand side. So we just got this uh, renovated. Um, me and my brother did this ourselves. So there it is right here. And I want to take you guys to the best part. It's going to be the backyard. So follow me. Alrighty. Careful. So on this side, you can sit with all your friends and your family. This is a fire pit. So you can be cozy even on the coldest nights. And we have some seatings, seating areas right here to enjoy your coffee. And of course, our main popular attraction is this jacuzzi. This is super, super amazing, especially at night when it's cold and we have these stream lights set up. So uh, the vibes are all here. If you're into barbecuing, here's your barbecue. Um, so anyways, we're giving away one free night to a lucky winner. Thank you guys for subscribing to Big Bear Weather More and supporting Sheep Horn Getaway. Uh, the Instagram giveaway will be on Instagram. So look out for that. Thanks guys, bye. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the aftermath of our biggest snowstorm of the season yet. And we're in the new car today, the car that I never drive with the sunroof. It's the Subaru Touring XT 2023. Things insane. Got my snow tires on this car as well for the winter time. I, since I didn't drive this all summer, I just kept the snow tires on from last winter. And yeah, this is the aftermath. Right now we're on Fox Farm Road. And we are going to go to the snowiest part of the valley first today. And then we will be heading to the least snowiest part of town. I'd be willing to bet, if not for the cold temperatures, that there won't be any snow on one side of town in, in parts. That's what I am, I am thinking. So we will see. We will see. We will definitely see. And I'm totally looking for my sunglasses here my glasses for sun all right so we're gonna cut off a little bit of Big Bear Boulevard because we are gonna have to come back through this part anyway so I don't want it to be repetitive and this will save us a few minutes how you guys doing hope you all are enjoying this this little storm that we had come through we do have another little bit of 
snow coming on Saturday. Not going to be anything significant like it originally was meant out, made out to be. They said originally we were supposed to. So about 10 days ago, the forecast for Saturday and Sunday was like, if everything worked out, it was like three feet of snow. Like I was so excited. If you guys go into the community post, you can see I posted that weather forecast. But now, so as of yesterday, it showed no snow at all, which is crazy. But then it's, it's now back to saying maybe an inch between Saturday night and Sunday maybe one inch so we will be getting something which is great and by the way guys by the way we got some new merch dropping it's already dropped now so it's freaking awesome shirts calm before the storm shirts with a big big badge like this on the back calm before the storm on the front it's just awesome 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 we've got new hoodies with that moniker on there also you guys, I think you're, <laughs> you're, you're going to like it. And how perfect, calm before the storm, right? That's precisely for this channel. So, yeah, I, I just hope you guys totally dig it. And uh, we've got the palm beanies, which a lot of people were requesting palm beanies. So we got that going. I'm super excited, you guys. Thank you guys for all the requests and all the suggestions. It makes me happy to know that a lot of people are absolutely digging the merch. So thank you so much. Um, let's see here. Also, wanted to let you guys know about my partner who's doing all the, all the merch. He's got that, that really sweet Airbnb right next to Bear Mountain in, 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 in Moon Ridge there. And he's doing a giveaway for you guys. Um, I will keep you posted on that. It is right around the corner now. Um, he's going to be doing a, one free night there. And plus, we're going to throw in some merchandise also. So basically, let's say you want to come stay for a whole weekend. You'd only have to pay for one night. I think you guys will be super stoked. I suggest you uh, enter the sweepstakes once we make the sweep the sweepstakes live. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm not exactly 100% sure how we're going to run this, um, whatchamacallit, this... Uh, giveaway but you guys will know soon enough uh, of course as i said we are going to be getting it going right away so maybe when the next storm comes when we get a lot of views i will be talking about it to let you guys know because i want you guys to win stuff and have us give back as much as we can again i appreciate it i think you guys will be super stoked about it and yeah, his place is in one of the snowiest parts of the whole town as well. So it's a win-win situation for everybody and everything. I'm really excited to do that. Really excited. And uh, Jay, thank you so much for being willing to, you know, do this for these guys. It's just awesome. Guys, he is the most amazing, extraordinarily intelligent man. As I told you guys, during the day, he, he's an aeronautical engineer. Just incredibly bright. And his passion is doing photography and, and and website stuff. So that's why he's uh, he just he just love this loves this and he loves you guys a lot. He can see how we all have such a beautiful relationship, and he just wants to help. So get ready for that, you guys. I'm excited to do this for you guys. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really great. to be able to enter the little sweepstakes though. I think it's gonna have something to do with going and signing up on my Instagram, which I'm really new at that. So um, as I said, he's gonna help me get all the details dialed in just so I know what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, also I'm gonna be doing a separate giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a pair of these goggles. I think you guys will be stoked on that. So I'm gonna give away one of these pairs of goggles I'm gonna let my wife keep the other pair and I'm gonna give away my pair I'm not gonna wear them um, when we help the company do some promotions we're just gonna use my wife's goggles to promote it on the mountain and yeah I'm excited ski warrior goggles anyway let's go let's go yeah 
so right now let me see we are on Knight Avenue I'm trying to get this map on that phone to show down here I can't figure out what's going on here so maybe I gotta let's see Apple CarPlay that's that's what we want right there let's see if I got it right and yeah guys like I said we're going to the snowiest part of town first over by the Big Bear Dam and then coming back around to drive through Baldwin Lake to show you guys the Big Bear snow roll and the reason why we went a little bit later today than than we usually do is because there we go I got it right there uh oh this guy is slipping and sliding is because I didn't want to do it when it's super freezing outside and all the ice and snow oops we're gonna have to back up because this guy's gonna come right back at us when all the ice and snow is still lying around, I want you guys to see it after it gets above freezing. So you guys know what to expect. Look at this guy, poor guy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you made it, sweet. Okay. All right. Do this. All right, we're on the boulevard, the Big Bear Boulevard. All righty. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Obviously, you know what we're gonna have to do like we always do. We're gonna have to take a little stroll through the village to get to the other side of this area, right? I want you guys to see in the aftermath what the, the village looks like. So let's... Roads don't look bad at all. Remember guys, for road conditions, always call 800 Caltrans or go on to the Caltrans website. Um, when, when you go to the Caltrans website, all you do... Sorry about that, dropped my phone. So with the Caltrans website, once you're there, if you're using your, your phone, I think it's the top right or the top left, you'll see these four lines. You'll just click click on those for the drop menu. And a little bit down, it'll say like current road, road conditions or something like that, highway conditions. You wanna click there and then you can type in 18 and then put a, a, a space and then 38 and then put a space and put 330 on that one line. And when you hit the search button, it'll pull up all the highways at once. So that's what you guys can do because I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna know precisely what the road conditions are going to be. Once I get notified, I let you guys know, but it can change two minutes after that. So I just wanna make sure that you guys have the most up-to-date info, very important, keep you guys safe. And so you know what to expect when it comes to traffic and stuff like that. So here we go, let's see what the village is looking like right now at 11.24 a.m. at 37 degrees. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. How did we get so lucky to live in a place like this? I mean, seriously, how did I get so lucky? Sorry about all the glare. But yeah, we ended up in some parts of town with about five inches of snow, other parts of town, not even an inch. Not even one inch. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. That's our friend Jay. Jay, yeah, hey, 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 hey. hang on really, really, really quick. Just know you're on, you're on speakerphone. Let me uh, take you off speakerphone for the a video. If I can pick you up when I come over to that side of town, that would be, that'd be great. Or if it's too late, but hang on a so, second. Hang on, let me get this off of speaker. Sorry guys, that's Jay. That's the one I've been talking about all morning with you guys. He's the one who's doing the giveaway for you guys for his seriously awesome Airbnb right next to, to a bear. Hang on a sec, Jay. All right, since I didn't want to surprise him, we're not gonna put him on speaker. Hang on. What's up, brother? 
No worries, dude. No worries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ab yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, dude. So at the end, I'll just come straight over to your house so we can get the stuff ready to insert in the video. Okay. Sounds good, bro. All right, my man. All right. I'll no, no worries, dude. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Bye guys. That's Jay. Seriously. Just, just an absolute sweetheart. I wouldn't have any of this merchandise if it wasn't for him. Uh, finding me the way to do it so I'm uh, very very thankful for him and what we're gonna be doing is he's got some pictures and stuff different little promos that we're gonna put in this video about the new merchandise and I'm excited about it so sweet 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 kind of all over the place today huh but that's okay it is what it is So it looks like there's a lot of cars that are heading kind of out of town. I didn't expect to see this on a Thursday. On a Thursday. This is where we're at right here. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys how much snow is still at the dam and then how little snow is on the other side. I don't know why I get so excited about it, but I do. I do, I do, I get so excited about it. Thank you guys for checking in yesterday, making those uh, those uh, videos worth something. Thank you guys. Appreciate all the comments. I'm telling you guys, if you guys understood, it's an all day thing for me to respond to the comments, all day, all day. When I'm driving for my regular job to do what I have to do there, in between everything I'm doing while I'm driving, I am responding to comments. As soon as I get home, in between the job, I am sitting down responding to comments. I mean, it's, it's nonstop, but I love it. I love it. You guys are my friends. I absolutely love it. Here's a free sledding location right here. This is, or no, sorry. I said free. That's the Alpine slide area at Magic Mountain. This isn't free. This is about $45 per person. I think younger kids is a little bit cheaper. I think, but don't, don't quote me on it, but that's the Alpine slide at Magic Mountain. That's what that area is called. They've got a roller coaster. They've got another type of like a bungee type of a ride. They just have a lot of fun stuff. They even have miniature golf. Obviously when it's snowing, they're not gonna have any miniature golf, but that roller coaster goes in the winter time. And I think you guys would love that. I'll do one of the roller coaster rides when we're having a little snowstorm. I think that'd be great. I think that would be great. Okay, so we are driving into the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley. The further we go this direction and around into the beginning of Fonskin, this is the snowier part of the Big Bear Valley. Oh boy, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. These snowplow folks in front of us, like uh, all these private citizens up here who have little snowplow businesses, I feel so bad for them for this season so far. I know these people count on their winter season to get them through the whole entire year because snow plowing, you can make an absolute small fortune.
So once we get up here to the Big Bear Dam, we're not going to be dealing with any more traffic, probably for the rest of the drive. Yesterday when we did the second video for the storm, we drove through Baldwin first. And I told you guys that I didn't want to do that simply because the traffic coming into town because of the fresh snow was probably going to be out of control. And it was, it was pretty bad. It could have been way worse, but it was still really bad. So today you'll see why this is the best way to drive around the, the whole town is to go, go this way, go against the grain. All these cars are coming into town. Every single one of them. And my, my, my beautiful wife drove down the mountain this morning, which I, I wish I had the ability to go so I could have recorded the drive all the way up Highway 18 and Highway 330 to show you guys what the road looks like. But as we get some more of these storms, I will be doing stuff like that. It's just I have to be prepared to be stuck in traffic for hours and hours. For you guys, it's totally worth it to help keep you guys safe. I'm so happy to do that. I want you guys to be able to see what the heck's going on. Instead of come up here surprised and then get super nervous about it. Up here are some pretty amazing Air Airbnbs. Most of those, if not all of them, those mansions right on the lake are Airbnb properties. and. I mean, thousands per night, I'm assuming, I'm assuming. At least, at least 1,500 to a couple grand. to use my windshield wiper because I'm I'm out of fluid can't believe it and it's the dirt and grime from the cars in front of us I don't want to smear us and ruin the windshield for right now but we're, we're gonna have to try it that wasn't too bad okay I'm just gonna have to stay back a little bit more then I'll show you what I do since I don't have any windshield wiper fluid once we get over to the font skin side I'm, I'm gonna pull over for a second and just throw some snow on my windshield and it'll clean it right up I never drive this car. I always forget to uh, get my windshield wiper fluid. But yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous car. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Huge screen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Temperature is still hovering at 37 degrees. We just passed through Boulder Bay and uh, Papoose Bay. Again, you guys, if you can find Airbnbs over on this side of town, I don't know how Airbnb works on their website. If, if you can choose like specific areas of a town and stuff and then they populate all the properties available, I don't know, never been on Airbnb. Um, I still like staying in regular hotels. I just always have. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they will let you pick like a specific area of a tiny little town. If they have that option, do it, you guys. You want to stay anywhere between the uh, the Big Bear Dam and the Big Bear Village. That's on this strip that we're driving on right now. If you want to be in the most snow in the whole town. And don't forget, remember what it looks like here. Because when we get to the other side of town, you guys are going to trip out. I mean, you're going to totally trip out. Hope you like trip into uh, I always change I always use that Bob Marley song and put my different words into it all the time I know I'm super annoying sometimes I really am hope you like annoying too Oh, 
Oh, it's so lovely out here. I like it a lot. Temperatures drop down to 35. It's probably not gonna get much, much lower than that. So this weekend when we have this next storm coming, because we're gonna be doing the calm before the storm on Friday afternoon, when that time comes, just know Sunday night is gonna be the coldest night of the season. There's a chance over on the Baldwin side of things, we could hit zero, and if, if we're lucky, below zero. So if it's gonna be that close, we're gonna go below zero hunting, you guys. Because I am a total dork. All right, anyway, here we are. We're at the Big Bear Dam. We're going to be turning right instead of going straight onto Highway 18. Now we're on Highway 38. And as I said, what I'm going to do is just pull over here real quick for a second. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to clean my windshield. Just grab some nice clean snow and hang on. Because I don't have any fluid in the car. Grab a handful of the fresh snow right here, and that'll be good. Yeah. Do a little rub, dub, dub. I just need to get my side clean, and then the rest of it just smash, baby. And one swoop, one wipe, we'll be good. All right, hang on a sec, guys. Put on my, my seatbelt. Oh no. Dang it, I didn't want to be behind anybody. Alright, one little wipe and there we go. We are good. Look at that. Look at that. Completely cleaned it off. Oh, it's so pretty. Speaking of windshield wiper fluid, when you guys come up here, if you're low on your fluid, I would go buy the below freezing fluid because when you're up here, it's, it's not gonna help if your windshield wiper fluid freezes. So you wanna get the zero degree windshield wiper fluid. Oh my gosh, look at how bright blue and beautiful that is. Something else guys, it's so pretty. Oh, they're doing a wedding right there. Or a quinceanera or something. It was beautiful. She had the most awesome dress on with professional photographers. It was great. All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious, that is amazing. So again, the further we go this way, the less snow you're gonna see, but this part of fawn skin over here, this is still part of the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley. Just this little area from the Big Bear Dam. But because it gets a lot of direct sunlight, it's gonna melt faster, but it's still one of the snowiest parts of town.
Okay, coming up to one of my most favorite views on this drive and one of my favorite houses because of its location. This, this greenish blue house right here, this view is just, imagine waking up to this every single morning. I just can't imagine how lucky. And like I'd like to remind you guys, over in this area, we are coming into where the eagle habitat is for our famous bald eagles of Big Bear. How, how crazy cool is that though? The, uh, the organization that put that tree up, or the, <laughs> put the tree up, put the cameras up you, you, you know they're like one of the only organizations that can get a, approval for stuff like that to disturb the bald eagles and what a way to fall into a good youtube channel right <laughs> it's pretty awesome pretty awesome i i admire that very 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 smart don't have to do anything just put your camera up and no one else can pretty cool All right, we're coming into downtown Fonskin. I always like to point out Grout Creek. We're not gonna be able to go way too slow past Grout Creek, but I'm sure there's still no flow. Here's Grout Creek right here. That is called a tributary. That is one of the areas where snow from the mountains melts down and runs into the lake. downtown Fonskin. Again, remember the amount of snow over here, which still isn't that much. But I, I, you know, I want you guys to get the better perspective, because as I said, if I would have started recording really early, when temperatures were still way below freezing, if those of you who saw it are like, oh my gosh, you know what? Honey, let's hop in the car and just dr drive up there. By the time you got up here, this is what it would have looked like. Because at six, six in the morning, it still looked like a lot more snow. So I just want you guys to really know what to expect when you're coming up here. I don't want you wasting your money or wasting your time. You guys work hard. And I want your vacations to be as good as they can be. And I'd like to be able to assist in that any way I can. so unbelievably clear these are days that are just extremely beautiful driving up and down our mountains because you can see a long way I mean a long way you could probably make out some buildings on Catalina today from uh, from highway 18 when I moved up here one thing that I noticed that I never thought would be possible was on a really clear day I could see Fashion Island I could see the buildings at Fashion Island which is just unbelievable Fashion Island is a shopping center in Newport Beach where I was raised and I spent a lot of time at Fashion Island or what we call it fascist island
nice little part of fawn skin. I really like this area a lot. Again, it's just too far away from, from everything for me. Where I live, it's exactly 15 minutes to the dam and 15 minutes to the opposite side of town. I live right in the, like, the exact center. And it's just too convenient. I, I just can't, can't move away. Yeah, it's a tiny little shack. But it's nice on the inside. I had like a, a nice floors put in, had it painted, put really nice, really nice accordion blinds in there, put in a new water heater, a really nice Toto toilet. Um, it's really nice on, on, on the inside, but thankfully it doesn't look that way on the outside. So not, not many people are gonna wanna try to come in, you know? <laughs> It's just a tiny little shack. So we're on North Shore Highway 38 and we are heading towards Baldwin now. Again, I have a strong feeling that there's gonna be a lot of that area where you don't see any snow at all. A lot of it will look like that. Keep in mind that hill is totally bare because it's on this side of the lake getting a lot of direct sunlight. further we go this way the less snow falls always always it's just the way the cookie crumbles that is so beautiful today Nice views of Snow Summit in just a second from across the lake. This is one of my favorite views in the whole town as well. It's, it's the million dollar view. Look at that. I mean, seriously. My friend, I can't thank you enough because with the one hour video, it's gonna take two hours for it to finish uploading. It, it takes a long time. So thank you for doing that. Just send it over whenever you're ready. I would appreciate that very much. You are the man. All right, cool. guys get to be behind the scenes and everything.
bad feeling about this stuff in the back of this person's car. But everyone's taking off down Stanfield Cutoff. All right, guys, this is where traffic should really open up for us all the way through Baldwin, right from here. There's Stanfield, folks. know that I'll be available in about an hour maybe a little bit less just let me know my friend so we're entering Big Bear City right now You guys see that? There's a little bit of ice out there. That little area is gonna be completely frozen in a couple days. It's gonna be beautiful. All right, cool. This is Division Road. This is one of the ways you get from North Shore to South Shore. I think there's four different roads. There's, I'll, I'll tell you them in order. There's Stanfield Cutoff, then Division Road, then Greenway, and then Paradise. for this aftermath but it's gonna take a long time to upload this whoa 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 my car's automatic steering took over Okay, so I told you guys we're on Highway 38, right? Well, once we come up here a little bit, this is gonna turn into Highway 18. I'll show you where. Once we get to Greenway, which is where these green highway signs are. So right here, if we turn right, that's what you wanna do to stay on Highway 38. But we are not turning right, we're going straight. Now we're on Highway 18. taking care of you guys all right here we go beginning the trek into the least snowy part of town like a fire over here, no joke. 
that is a fire. There's a maybe a car accident. That's that looks like up on on Highway 38. I don't know if you guys can see that smoke, but that's definitely a fire. Ah, oh, jeez. I hope everyone's okay. Really hate seeing that. Hope everyone's okay. This little water area right here, part of Baldwin, or actually it's it's part of our, our, our water treatment plant, it's frozen. Not completely frozen, but you can see big ice chunks. Gosh, this car is so incredibly smooth. When you get the like top of the line, most bells and whistles version of Subaru, I mean, everything's different from the suspension, the engine, the turbo. It's a really great car. I never thought I would love Subaru as much as I do, but this car is just fantastic. See what I said? There's not a single car over here going this way. What did I tell you about very little snow over here, guys? Just incredible, huh? Once we make this little corner right here, it's just gonna get less and less. It's gonna be huge areas without anything. I mean, look at that. Of course, there's these little spots on the side, but just not much at all. Then if you look to the left, there's nothing in these hills. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, nothing. Again, that's the big bear snow rule. Look at the fire. So, no problem. I'm gonna be done with the video in 20 minutes, so I'm hoping you can have that to me in about 20 minutes. All right, we're turning right into Baldwin. If we went straight, we would start heading down the mountain into Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley, but that's not where we're going. You got it, my friend. Is there any way you could send that within 20 minutes? Because the video is going to be done in 20 minutes and I have to upload it as soon as I'm done. It's going to take hours. Wow, we're driving closer to that fire, guys. No bueno. Right around this corner, we're gonna see a lot more smoke. Yep, that might, I don't know what.
what that is. But it's not good, whatever it is. Again, just keep the fire in your hearts for who it's affecting right now. That does look like it's on Highway 38, heading out of town. Temperature is still at 36 degrees. Okay. Pretty soon we'll be driving away from this sun directly in the windshield. It'll be a lot better. Okay, so you see the snow over here in Baldwin? Maybe 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 they got an inch and a and the rest has basically melted. But there's hardly any snow over here. There's that fire right there, the smoke. Not the cloud on the left, it's that cloud kind of towards the center of the screen, that's the smoke. Yeah, just a super bummer. Jay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for taking care of our friends on the channel, man. That's incredible of you to hook them up with that Airbnb. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
little part of Baldwin right here, this little hidden area, I love it. I love it so much. Giant Santa. Hey, Giant Santa. coming up to highway 38 if you turn left here at the stop sign it'll take you up to the top to onyx summit at 8443 feet and then you will start heading down to head towards ukaipa and mentone and all those areas down there make a left right there so we're back technically in big bear city want you guys to see what the snow is like in Big Bear City right now. Here's maple that goes up to Sugarloaf. That's the main road up to Sugarloaf. You can also take a little bit easier route when it's icy and snowy off of Highway 38. It's called Baldwin Road. Next weekend, this town's gonna get pretty quiet for a little bit. It's gonna be definitely a big, big difference. I like it seeing everybody up here though. It just feels like a big giant party up here. Let me see if that's gonna smear. I guess it did a little bit, but that's okay. I'm glad you made it down safe and sound, my love. I wish I could have gone with you so I could have seen how beautiful that you told me it was. I'm almost done with the video, the aftermath for everybody. So I will call you as soon as I'm done, baby. I love you. All right, my wife made it down the hill safe and sound. 
So that's one less thing I have to worry about today. Now I gotta worry about her driving in the big city traffic. But if she can make it through here, then she can make it through anywhere. If she can make it here, she'll make it anywhere. I think I convinced her to get some snow tires finally. So we're gonna be getting her some snow tires for her 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 Kia Soul. I know it's just a two-wheel drive vehicle, but I think it'll make a difference for her. Just so she doesn't have to put on chains all the time. Because that is not a fun process for either of us. I'll send that in 15 minutes. Okay. Well guys, that's what our town looks like. From all the areas you could be driving up into the town, we hit those. And we're on the main route right now. I really hope you guys got a lot out of it. At least get you prepared to, you know, for what to expect. To keep you all safe. Here's one of the snow play areas. This is called Big Bear Snow Play. I believe it's $45 per person to go sledding, but it's for the whole day. So if you get there right when they open, it's 45 bucks, you can stay all day. And they have motorized walkways to make it easier so you're not burning yourself out and you can really enjoy it. And we just entered Big Bear Lake from Big Bear City. I don't sit in this traffic. I, I turn around right here and go down Division Road through the back streets and I get home a lot faster, but we are pretty much gonna be done with this in about two minutes. So we might as well keep it on for y'all so you can see what to expect, as I said. So do you guys see that neighborhood that I'm, I'm pointing at right now? That's probably my favorite neighborhood up here. The street names are Bear Loop. So I'm not sure if that's the neighborhood's name. I always forget that neighborhood. But it's right in that prairie area right there. Big, beautiful houses. Just a beautiful, beautiful area. Obviously, we can't see it too well right now, but we're about to see it a lot better here. Let's see. All those houses right there. They do have a lot of Airbnbs in there as well, you guys. It's just beautiful. The, the views of our ski resorts from those houses and this little body of water 
it's just amazing. Anyway, guys, we are going to be done with the video in about a quarter mile, so I'll just shut it off now so you don't have to deal with all this traffic. But thank you guys again for cruising with me. I appreciate it, and uh, hope you enjoyed the aftermath. The time lapse is going to be a good one, so check it out tomorrow. Don't forget, if you want your skis and snowboards waxed for free, go to Get Boards and mention me and this channel, and uh, they will wax your skis and snowboard for free. As I said, since it's a new relationship, if one of the employees doesn't know about it, Ask for the owner, his name is Tony, just to make sure that you guys don't leave there empty handed, okay? And I'm sure they'll take care of you with things that you buy, this and that. You can go online at getboards.com and buy your ski lift tickets as well. Anyway guys, I appreciate you. Go to Big Bear Weather and More, get yourself some awesome merchandise like I'm wearing right now. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and thanks for the support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Get your ski warrior goggles. I will put that information in the comment section and the description of the video for all of you. Thank you very much. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out. It's January 4th, 2024. I think I said 2023 at the beginning of the video, but it's 2024.